Uh, my name is Maria Hernandez and I am from San Antonio, Texas. And I graduated from the University of Texas at San Antonio with a degree in English. And I work for a nonprofit organization called the Community Leadership Institute that concentrates on uh, leadership development for people that work in community. Well, I consider myself a Chicana. Um, I considered myself a Chicana before I considered myself a photographer or an artist. Um, I think at one point I, I, I made a clear decision to live my life in a certain way and um, I'm really passionate about um, community and, and helping develop community and, and um, helping giving back to a community that has, has inspired me and that has enabled me to attain a lot and the work that I produce is, is very, um, it's identity based because I take inspiration from the things closest to me, from my family, you know, from the people that I work with, from my friends, um, those, those are things that inspire me and um, my culture and I think that it's, it's very natural, it's very organic. Um, I don't have to reach very far to, uh, to be inspired. Masudas was formed in 2009 and um, a couple of months before we had our first show, I had had um, my first photography show out of a friend's living room and I have to give credit to a friend of mine, Jimmy Ganales. He had come up to me after uh, the show and he was like, hey, you know, you guys should really have an all-female show. You know, there's a lot of really awesome female artists within San Antonio, you know, you guys should really get together and have a show. And I was like, God, why didn't I think of that first, you know? So um, I started thinking about who I would like to show alongside. And, and I knew Ruth and I had met and been introduced to Kristen and I had met Sarah. And so immediately, um, you know, they came into mind. So I, I asked Ruth and I asked everybody else if they'd be interested in having um, a group show and everyone was really interested. And the reason why I asked them was because I was a big fan of their work. Um, I, I loved Sarah's work, I loved Ruth's work and I was really interested in what, what Kristen was doing. It was very unique. Um, so we had the show and it was a success and everything just clicked. It worked out really well. Um, so we decided to form the collective. Masudas was invited to uh, show at Mechi Arte um, via Claudia Zapata and it was very exciting because it was um, a show outside of San Antonio but still in Texas. It was a different audience, it was a different space and it was our first show of 2011 and I think that you know, in retrospect, looking at our shows of 2010, we, we wanted to make a jump. We wanted to do something different, and it seemed like the perfect setting and the perfect space to make that happen. Um, Chicanas only evolved over a series of conversations and meetings. I think that this show in particular was very different from our previous shows because our previous shows had very um, very clear themes and it was something that we all agreed on and I think this time around we wanted to try something a little bit different. We, we wanted to see how maybe not having such a, a well-defined theme and maybe um, being a little more vague about what we were doing would affect our work or how it would affect the process and what would be the outcome. So instead of having one theme, we, we had these, these different themes that all interlocked and, and that all related to each other. So we would have these conversations and we had all these meetings and um, we started talking about things that affected us on a daily basis and, and things that were important to us or bothered us. And um, we started coming up with these subjects that all revolved around 
a certain sub a certain theme and subject and so for me I I, I I picked a few of the different subjects and, and concentrated my work on on that. And my work is, is really about um, resistance and protest and um, relating to the conversations that I was having with the Rudas and um, one of the big subjects and themes that stood out to me was um, harassment. And we had a lot of conversations about you know, women being harassed in the streets about um, feeling um, anxious and not being able to wear whatever we wanted to wear and, you know, being very cautious walking down the street or not even be able to, like, walk into a grocery store without having to worry about, like, you know, what you're wearing or how you're presenting yourself because it, it happens to you, it happens to women all the time, you know, you're harassed on a daily basis. So it, it really stood out to me. So in, in reference to my work, my, my work was really about protest and it was very character based and, and the work was supposed to be like this, um, almost like a, like a documentary perspective of, of someone who is an activist and who protests and who is protesting these, these things that um, Kristen may talk about in her work, about the male gaze, or Ruth may talk about in her work about machismo, um, because sometimes I feel as an activist myself, um, that's maybe one of the only ways to get a point across. So I wanted to base my work on, on the idea of, of some sort of solution, because there was no solution to these things and these subjects that we were talking about. It was like, well, what are we going to do? You know, we keep on talking about all these things, but what are we going to do? How do we make it better? And, and um, the act of protest for me is a way to um, verbalize that and then come to some sort of resolution. I think that the Chicanas Only was, was different and um, a, was different from our past exhibitions because of the context and because of the theme. Because we were very specific, we were we were um, we were critiquing. You know, it was Chicana feminist critique, and and to be in a show alongside a Chicano, um, a very well known artist, and um, that was a, an interesting dynamic. I. I I thought that you know he was in the front and he, he was showing his work in the front. And he's a well-known, established artist, and I figured that the majority of the people were going to come and see Sam Coronado. And I thought it was an interesting uh, arrangement that we were in the back and that we were having this very um, almost political show and you know, had to do with men and um, patriarchy and Chicana feminism. And then you, know, you had to walk through Sam's shows to get to ours. I just, I thought it was uh, interesting. <laughs> what do I hope to accomplish artistically? I think at this point, I'm really taking some personal time to sort of debrief and, and think about our shows and what I've learned and um, we, for me, I had th three very large shows in, in one year in addition to everything else that was going on with the Rudas, with, you know, um, other, other things. It was, it was a lot. It was nonstop and we barely had time to um, prepare for the next upcoming show. And I think right now I'm, I'm trying to uh, some sort of balance between my work and, and the other activities I do and the need to to stay creative and be creative and produce things so um, I'm doing a lot of thinking and, and trying to make it all happen without um, taking away from photographing and then making things so much. I think that uh, I've gotten a lot of really great advice from other artists, from curators, from um, people that we've met 
while producing these shows and I've gotten a lot of really bad advice and I've met some really cool people and I met some people that I hope to never meet again <laughs> and um, I, I realized uh, that I really need to stay true to, to myself and um, if, if I'm told something, if you're, if you're given a piece of advice that doesn't click or it just doesn't fit into the way you see things, then I, I recommend going with your instinct and remembering where you come from, remembering why you started producing work in the first place, and um, just don't stop. Keep on going because you know the term Chicana and Chicano is is still derogatory for some reason, and um, you know I think that. There needs to be more people out there that are going to produce work and, and that are going to stand up and say, no, you know, there's nothing wrong with being called a Chicana. There's nothing wrong with being called a Chicano. And, and this is what I do, and I can do it just as good as you can.